Behind me here is Kirby Station. I'm here once again, but it's not a terminus this time round. But on top of that, there is also a few other stations in the country that have Kirby in its name. One in particular that comes to mind is Kirby Stephen in Cumbria. Well, after a uh, hot minute between episodes, it's time once again to go from point to point. Just while I've got a bit of time to kill, I've actually come to the bridge here with the um, old disused, well, now disused, northern platforms at Kirby. I've not actually had a chance to get a proper look at it yet, so this is my first time. And also, I didn't realise actually quite how close Headbolt Lane is to here, but it's actually really not that far down if you look down over the bridge. That's cool. Anyway, um, let's actually go to the station now, shall we? All right, here we are at the station, and there's, uh, there's the uh, train that I will be getting, but uh, right now it's going towards Headbolt Lane, so we'll have to wait for it to come back. Oh my god, the red signal here is, like, lighting up my face. It's making it look all red. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... I've not actually been to Kirby since um, it was a terminus, so I haven't been here since before Headbolt Lane opened. And it's really weird seeing, like, through tracks here. And like this is where the platform ends. You can't go to the northern platform anymore because it's not in use anymore. And there's a big red signal here now. <laughs> oh. This is cool. I like it. Yeah. Then off we go to more fields, I think. Right, time for more fields in any second now. Alrighty, more fields. Now, we uh, will be on our next train for a grand total of about 90 seconds because we now need to go to Liverpool Lime Street. Through the extremely creepy uh, liminal space corridor. <laughs> We got a 507. I'm happy. Lime Street. That was nice and quick. So, uh, yeah, let's go to the uh, main concourse where we will have a much, much longer journey on our hands. Here comes the concourse. There it is, the uh, 1053 to Newcastle TPE. That's the one I'm getting. All the way to Leeds. Oh, the train's all just opened. Just as I got here, perfect. Okay, I just snagged the first doubly available seat I got. I mean, not much of a view, but I'll take it. <laughs> about 10 minutes to go till we leave, and I'm on here for about two hours. Okay, it's 10.52. Leaving any second now. So, yeah, as I said, we're on this service for a bit under two hours. But, yeah, onwards to Leeds. Manchester Victoria is coming up now. We're about to have a, a very large reshuffle of passengers. The weather today, too, is proper grim. There it is, there it is. There's the rumble. We're on diesel power now. <laughs> you can really feel the train shake when it does that, that's so cool. 
So we've been sat in the station for a few minutes now, and I just decided to check the route, and we're meant to leave at 11.44, but it's only 11.32 now. We're gonna be sat here for about 15 minutes. This is ridiculous. So a bit of time has passed, we've uh, left Dewsbury and we are going to be in Leeds in the next 10 or so minutes, I, I think. So uh, yeah, not, uh, not long now. Leeds and my oh my, lots of people getting on, I'm glad I'm off now. Now then, I guess my task now is to find whichever platform the next northern to Carlisle is. We are going to have another two hour journey on a single train, but it is the last train, so that's nice. Alright, so it's a service to Carlisle. Uh, duh, 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 there we are. 4B. Cool. Okay, I think this train is uh, the one we need. It's not open yet, so I guess we'll just wait till it is. Hopefully not long till we're let on the train. It's freezing out here. I want to be let on the 158 because the aircon never works and it'll be really warm. Here we are on the train and look, it's the, um, it's the Arriva interior as opposed to the uh, northern trains one i've actually seen these before i don't think so yeah final train already will uh, take this one to uh, kirby stephen which is once again just under two hours time to uh, do it all again god look how grim the weather's become well, at least I'm on a 158 and not, you know, out there getting wet. But either way, we're off, so onwards to Kirby Stephen. Here's Keithley, the last station in West Yorkshire. Funnily enough, the moment we got out of uh, West Yorkshire, the uh, weather suddenly got really nice and clear again. Seriously though, I do, I love the Leeds to Carlisle. It's so scenic, it's just, it's beautiful. Beautiful settle station. God, this station looks pretty. And even the surrounding area, too. I really need an excuse to come to this station one day. We've just been through uh, Horton Ribblesdale, so we'll be at the Ribblehead Viaduct uh, in a few minutes' time. And I'm on the right side of the train now, this time, to actually sort of see the viaduct. Head never disappoints. The uh, number of passengers on this train has uh, slowly been dwindling as we've gone further down the line. It was like basically full when we started, now it's about half full, I think. But anyway, yeah, we've just uh, left Dent, so we have Garsdale, then Kirby Stephen. Kirby Stephen in about three minutes. Oh look, Circo Bellio Northern Rail. 
one chair that hasn't been changed. Oh, the weather is very windy and rainy and not nice, but Kirby Stephen, we made it. I actually had to stay in the uh, village of Kirby Stephen um, in fairly recent years for a uh, geology field trip I had with sixth form. Um, stop raining now. Um, but yeah, so I've actually been here before, but not the station, because the station's like a couple miles down on the road. Speaking of uh, staying in Kirby Stephen, you can actually stay in the uh, station house here, um, just as, as like a sort of hotel, but you can actually stay in the station house. I think you can also do it at Dent on this line as well. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's really cool, I like that. Now, as much as I would love to actually go into the village of Kirby Stephen, um, the next train I would get that would come out if I were to go to the village and back would be about a two hour wait. And I wouldn't get home until about 11 o'clock and I'm not having any of that. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to just end it at the station here. Oh wow, I've just come down to the front of the station and uh, it's not windy at all down here. I think the uh, hill here is blocking the wind. <laughs> So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know of any other points to points I can do. Like, comment, subscribe. I now have to get back home via that exact same route over another course of five hours. So, wish me luck. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. First video of 2024. Woo! It's going to be a fun one. Thank you all for supporting the channel.